two major stars have announced today that they will not be participating in the 2021 Wimbledon Championships, Naomi Osaka and Rafael Nadal. Osaka's agent Stuart Dugat revealed the news in a statement that reads, Naomi won't be playing Wimbledon this year. She is taking some personal time with friends and family. She will be ready for the Olympics and is excited to play in front of her home fans. While the news is obviously very disappointing, it's not all surprising because the entire Rolling Girls press drama was a lot. And in her last statement, Naomi did say that she was going to take a step back from the court. I obviously think this is the right decision because it's clear that Naomi was never really in the right mental headspace to compete, even though she played pretty decent in her opening match at the French. Also, in that statement, she said that she had been dealing with some anxiety and depression ever since the 2018 US Open. I truthfully think, though, that whenever Naomi doesn't feel good about her game, she goes through bouts of depression and mental health issues. She first opened up about her struggles at the 2018 Charleston Open, where she lost to Yulia Gerges in the round of 16. She struggled for a while in that period, even though she was coming off the Indian Wells title a few weeks prior. Then she had that little slump in mid-2019, where she lost early at Rolling Garros in Wimbledon. She said she was depressed there too. Now here we are most recently after her Miami Open loss to Sakari, she's had subpar results in Madrid and Rome, which caused the ordeal with her not wanting to speak with the press. This time it's a little bit more different because she has been afforded more media attention and business opportunities and likely feels more pressure to perform at an even higher level. As I keep reiterating, Naomi's boycott wasn't about the press itself, although she said she liked for the system to change where players aren't obligated to speak if they're not mentally healthy. It was about her personally struggling with the fact that she was not already playing well, plus knowing that she hadn't had the best track record on clay and even grass. It's no secret that hard courts are Naomi's bread and butter, so Wimbledon being played on grass would have likely perpetuated those self-doubt issues. I'm not really sure if the Olympics are the best place for her to return. On one hand, they are on hard courts, and it is an extremely important event for her with it being held in her home country. However, this would be Naomi's most pressure-filled event perhaps ever, and all the attention could be rough for her, especially if she's still struggling psychologically. Then again, she might face backlash if she doesn't play because this is such a big deal, her being Japan's biggest athlete and the whole money and marketability thing. We will see what happens soon as the Olympics are fast approaching. It still is a big loss for Wimbledon to not have Naomi compete and it is unfortunate that she's had to pull out of two slams this season. This is also a good chance for Naomi to reclaim the world number one ranking from Ash Barty but the Australian will likely keep the top spot until after the US Open. Looking at the other big withdrawal from today, 20-time major champion Rafael Nadal would not be playing Wimbledon because he wants to prolong his career. Nadal took to Twitter to announce the news. Hi all, I have decided to not participate at this year's championships at Wimbledon and the Olympic Games in Tokyo. It's never an easy decision to make, but after listening to my body and discussing it with my team, I understand that it is the right decision. The goal is to prolong my career and continue to do what makes me happy. That is to compete at the highest level and keep fighting for those professional and personal goals at the maximum level of competition. The fact that there have only been two weeks between Rolling Girls and Wimbledon didn't make it easier on my body to recuperate after after the always demanding clay court season. There have been two months of great effort and the decision I take is focused on looking at the mid and long term. Sport prevention of any kind is a very important factor at this stage of my career in order to try to keep fighting for the highest level of competition and titles. I want to send a special message to my fans around the world, to those in United Kingdom and Japan in particular. The Olympic Games always meant a lot and they were always a priority as a sports person. I found the spirit that every sports person in the world wants to live. I personally had the chance to live three of them and had the honor to be the flag bearer for my country. So that was Rafa's statement and I definitely understand his decision to pull out of Wimbledon with there only being a two week gap between it and the French. Matter of fact, Rafa was kind of close to pulling out of the championships in 2018 and 2019, but thanks to the extra break, he was able to get additional rest and made great semi-final showings. I think that Rafa simply wouldn't have performed at the highest level at Wimbledon because he always exerts himself during the clay court season playing back to back to back. He did look a little spent at the end of the Djokovic match, so he definitely needs time to recover. I think it's sort of similar to Federer skipping the French for all those years to preserve his body for where he knew he'd get his best results. Nadal, although has come closer, knows he doesn't excel at SW19, so it's a good move for the outlook of his career. It could also be a mental thing with the Novak loss because this was a great chance for him to break the same record, and now Djokovic is fast approaching. But I think that even if he had won that title, he wouldn't play Wimbledon because 
because of the short recovery time. I do find it interesting though that Nadal went ahead and pulled out of the Olympics because representing his country means a lot to him. The two-time gold medalist withdrew from the 2012 London Games due to knee tendonitis. However, in 2016, he played through some wrist issues to win the doubles event and fell just shy of both the silver and bronze medals in the singles. Wimbledon is from June 28th to July 11th, so once again, that's understandable. The tennis event for Tokyo, though, is from July 24th to August 1st. I think that'd be the perfect comeback for Rafa as he just had the lone hardcore service to deal with for the rest of the season. But it just appears that he needs a break, which is what team did as well to give himself time to recover. Nadal is looking at the long term of perhaps also playing the Paris 2024 games, which would be on clay. Also, Djokovic could join Rafael and top players to pull out of Tokyo, as he said he'll think twice if there are no spectators allowed. If Nadal is planning on playing at the US Open, we might see him back at Toronto where he's the defending champion. That tournament starts on August 9th. So that's it for these two breaking news stories and let me know what you think of Naomi and Nadal's women in withdrawals in the comment section below. Also, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time here on Grand Slam Tennis News Today.